Before we get the video started, I'd just like to quickly shout out to the Asexual Community Census. This is a survey done annually, which is the largest survey of the asexual community. It doesn't matter where you fall on the asexual spectrum, even if you are allosexual, you can take the survey. The only requirement is that you are older than 13 years old. I highly encourage all of you watching this video to take the survey if it is still running when you watch this video. So that's all I wanted to say. I'll leave a link in the description below and onto the video. You probably know already that I identify as a homoromantic asexual. If not from watching my other videos, then from the title of this video. This means that I am simultaneously gay and asexual and I relate to so many things in both of these communities. To me they have equal weighting as part of my identity. Asexuality is something that I have always been confident in, even when I haven't known the word for it. But recently I've realised that I do want a romantic relationship with a guy, and that equally is a tremendously important part of whom I am. The words gay and asexual, to me, there's a sort of dichotomy between them, and I think that's because of the way gay culture, especially gay men in particular, is very sexualized. Of course this isn't a negative thing and it makes perfect sense. What homophobes normally have a problem with is men having sex with men, but that's not something I can relate to. And it's true, I have felt ostracised from this community because I don't feel that way. I don't feel sexual attraction. I realise that that's not really the whole picture. I don't neatly fit into the gay community, that is true, but that's not a problem because I don't need to relate to every single facet of being gay. Similarly, I don't need to relate to everything in the asexual community, and that's fine. But it's kind of amazing. I get to be part of these two communities, the, the gay community and the asexual community. And there is a lot within those communities that I can relate to, that I do relate to. So yes, sometimes I feel like my identity is conflicting with itself, but it's not. It's just an unfamiliar harmony. And we shouldn't think that because we don't fit into the boxes that people have designed for us that we don't belong. So I believe there's a place for all of us, no matter how ostracised or isolated or different we may feel. Of course, it isn't all sunshine and roses, I don't want to ignore the problems, and there are disadvantages with being asexual. I think for romantic asexuals, the main issue comes in with that aspect, their romantic orientation. If you want to date other asexuals, they're difficult to find. It is estimated that 1% of the population is asexual, that's not many people, and it's not like you're going to run across them in the street, you have to look. And of course that's a problem in all spheres of the LGBT plus community. But of course asexuals can have successful relationships with allosexuals. For me, if I go on a date with someone and after the first date they don't know that I'm asexual, the next time I see them I will sit them down and tell them straight. It's frustrating because it's all, almost like you're coming out again. There's this person you're interested in and you have to risk sabotaging a potential relationship. 
for the sake of honesty. But it is an important thing to do, because a relationship built on dishonesty isn't going to last. If you either find another asexual person who you're interested in, or if you find an allosexual who is content with accepting your asexuality, then, well, the problem's solved, really. Then you've just got all the hundreds of normal problems we face in daily life. And I am happy calling myself a gay ace. I am incredibly fortunate to live in a time and a society which is open to the whole spectrum of the LGBT plus community. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to have a ramble about what being a homo romantic asexual means to me and how I feel about it. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like. I post videos every Saturday so if you in want to see more then feel free to subscribe. This channel has reached over 50 subscribers in the first month which completely blew me away and your comments are always lovely to read. The goal I'm aiming for at the moment is 100 subscribers which yes it's double what I've got at the moment but it's nice to dream. Have a wonderful day. Good morning at the moment. Why is it going blurry every time? Focus on my face. This is the second time that I've recorded this video. I did it yesterday and whilst I was editing I realised that I was not only rambling but I was being overly negative.